Alright guys, um I'll be showing you guys a GIMP tutorial. And uh hold up. I'm uh let's load up GIMP first. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make uh how to outline text and uh weapons. If you have the rendered a rendered copy of like an M sixteen or a BR whatever you're trying to make. So we're gonna go to new and the uh the new uh, the GB layout is 300 by 200 pixels. So we're just gonna drop a black background. Okay, if it does fucking the hell. All right, there we go. Okay, now we gonna um first we're gonna do text. So we're just gonna do let's go with a neon. Color. Let's go with green. Uh, we're gonna make that a little bigger and go with birth of a hero. Alright, excuse me, a little slow. There we go. We're just gonna do XD team DX. Let's make that a little smaller. Okay, that's good. Now, um, this is good. Okay, so you just, you know, put it wherever you want, doesn't matter. And you got your uh, layers right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate with this little picture right here. Just hit duplicate, and now you got two of them. So right click on the bottom one, go alpha to selection. You should be it should be marching ants around the text. And um, what you're gonna do? Go grow. This is how big you wanna grow. Usually I just go by like three. And make your color whatever you want to outline it as. So let's do white, I guess. Take a brush. You can do whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just go around it like that. All right. And what you now want to do is you just want to right click go off of the selection one more time. Because usually, sometimes right here, you'll have a little extra transparent space. And it just looks bad. So you're gonna alpha to selection again and you just go over it. And uh, if you don't want this color, your uh, green, or I wanna change it, just do it again. Just go alpha to selection on the green, I guess, if I wanna change that. Change it to a blue and just go over it again with your brush. So if I wanna keep that, that's fine. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, like. Make, well, when you're done, make sure you select none. And here's I, I like to do this with some text. Go to the white and uh, make sure it's like that. You can right click, go to filters, blur. Oh god, filters, blur, and then motion blur. And uh, here's a good one. Hold up. Let me get my stuff up real quick. Just go like that. I know it's just whatever you guys want to flow, but I'm gonna stick with that. That's not really an outline, but it's just a cool little thing you guys can do. And what you want to do next, you're gonna go merge down, and now it's all one thing, so you can move it all together, you know, wherever. But um, I just bring some guns in here. Hold up, I do not have the sights up. Hopefully, I'll have them in the description for all these guns because they are rendered and you can just paste them up and you can do this but if this doesn't work for you then um let's open up an m16 if this doesn't work for you then um i will try i promise i'll try to post the renders i gotta find them though and uh... once i get them up what you just do is just save them and you're gonna put them in your folder but now you're gonna want to um... I'm going to just put that right there. And the exact same thing you just did. I mean, if you're just not learning the color, it works the same way. Like, you can, if you want to color first, go alpha to selection on your first layer. I'm going to change it up a little bit here. Let's make my gun red. See, there you go. So now I got a red M16, and you're going to go alpha to selection on the back. On the bottom layer, go to grow. I'll just grow by three again, I guess. And um, wait a second. And I can outline. And 
I haven't seen a lot of tutorials teach how to do that. But, um, yep. Make sure when you're done, of course, select none. And then I'm just going to post one more up. Just quick run through, do exactly the exact same thing you just did. Pull merge down, and then, yeah. Alright, then you got all this. You should be good. Make sure you just select none, my bad. And so now you got all this. Just flip it around, play with it. Um, I'm not going over all these tools. If you don't understand something I did, it's probably in my first tutorial. Because that's why I kind of skimmed through this pretty quickly. Because, you know, but, um, it's just all kinds of stuff you can do with this. Um, I'll also show you guys how to do outline, like, layers. Like, like, blood. And, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to, um, layers. Alright, uh, you're going to want to create a new layer same thing transparent make sure it's transparent and to outline blood which I have never seen anybody do this on YouTube you can outline any brush with this alright guys any brush but blood's usually the more famous one so we're gonna do a pretty bright colored blood let's do a yeah let's do a green I'm just gonna delete these last two layers so you guys can see this uh... delete Delete. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna just splat this on here. Let's get a little bigger. Oh my God, it's killing me. All right, let's splat that right there. It's good. Like I can put it behind my name and stuff, but I already did my name. So, all right. So make sure. God damn. All right, new layer. Okay. And what you gotta do? You're gonna open a new layer. Make sure it's on your new layer. Splat the blood on there. Make sure your blood is on where it says new layer. Just gonna name that blood outline. Okay, so now you're gonna, like I did last time, duplicate, right click alpha to selection, and grow. Make sure it's on a new layer, people, because I've had people, you know, ugh, just saying like it didn't work, because, you know, they're just splatting it on there, and you gotta be making sure that you got a new layer. So, um, I'm making a circle so I could do this easily. So just go all over it. You know, it looks a little sketchy because that stuff in the back, but um, just trust me, it really doesn't look as bad as it looks, I guess, right now. But merge it down. Usually what you can do to make it look a little better is just give it just a little blur. Just, just a little blur. It'll blur it for you. And it'll kind of, you know, give a little flow. And um, so now you got this. I can go do pretty much anything with this so now you can move it around do whatever but um yeah well it's being laggy on the screen for you guys but all right well that was an XD team DX tutorial on how to outline text um, brushes guns for game battle signatures etc um subscribe for more uh, thank you very much